Now, although we know and although we've looked at these ideas about open, flat, and closed universe, and we've looked at these different things, they all depend on the density of the universe. And so this brings up a really nice uh, little way to look at it. And this is sort of the problem, though, is that now we know that this is not exactly the whole story. You see, at the time when these ideas were brought up, I think they make a lot of sense, right? Because we can sort of, I hope I've shown you logically, that without gravity, we would expect the universe to expand at a constant rate. If we include the attractive force of gravity, we expect it to go concave down. And then if we only look at density, and we could have some sort of concept where, you know, maybe we can write it down here that, you know, as long as you know the density, that would sort of lead to destiny. Remember, destiny means something like, you know, what the future of the universe is. So it's like, if only we knew the density of the universe, either this or this value or this value, whatever it is, either it's less than this or equal to this or greater than this, then we would know something about the destiny of the universe. In other words, what the universe will do in the future. And that was a great idea, but the problem is that now new evidence has arisen that shows that this is not the only thing to consider. In other words, it's almost like here we're sort of playing with a dial. You know, we've got like a little knob that we're sort of turning left and right and trying to sort of find out what it is, and that tells us what's going to happen. Well, now it's like there's an extra dial. There's an extra knob to turn. There's something really weird going on. And that is something that, uh, well, the new evidence has shown this. And this is actually brand new. So new evidence, uh, I wrote down dark energy like this right here. Uh, this is actually, this picture I think is originally taken from um, Hyperbole and a Half. This is actually a, a funny web comic, but I, of course, just added the word dark energy instead of what she had written here. But uh, this cartoon aside, uh, the new evidence shows something like this. So although we thought... Okay, so we thought it should go like either like this or like this, you know, and sort of stop or like this right here. Those were sort of what we thought before. This was going to be open. This would have been flat. This would have been closed. You know, if this is time and this is size of the universe. This is what we thought. Either of these three cases would be what the universe is going to do. But it turns out, some very, very clever scientists years ago, um, they started looking at what we talked about before, these standard candles. This idea that um, if we can find some sort of distance marker that works for things that are farther than what we previously saw. And they did. They used these supernovas of type 1a, and they were able to then see uh, some really interesting and maybe shocking evidence. It looks like in the past... The universe used to be sort of cur curving downwards, but now it's actually curving upwards. And the question is, you know, what the question mark? So this one right here, this is something really, really strange. And this, it turns out, the evidence seems to show this right here. So in other words, about two billion years ago, if this right here represents sort of now, if this right here is us now, looks like about two billion years ago, the expansion stopped sort of slowing down and actually started speeding up. So this right here is sort of the brand new and most awesome thing, I think, because uh, this is an example of where, although we think we have good ideas about science, sometimes evidence comes and sort of makes us throw everything out the window. And this is, all the evidence seems to point to this. In fact, in 2011, the two different teams that sort of discovered this were given the Nobel Prize in physics because it's considered that important. Keep in mind, they didn't explain why. They just said, this is the case. Here's our results. And they've actually done many, many different tests and many different examples. It all seems to show this, that it's curving upwards. Now, what does this really mean for us? This says that there exists something out there that's acting opposite to gravity. And more so, it's winning. In other words, there's some sort of force out there that we can't see. We haven't detected it yet. You know, we, we don't detect it sort of, well, we don't really know much about it. All we can do is detect its effects. And the effect is it's making the universe expand at an increasing rate, which is absolutely counterintuitive. This doesn't make any sense. 
this would be the equivalent of like if I'm just throwing a rock, you know, in my hand, I just throw a rock up in the air. It's like instead of it stopping and landing back in my hand, which we expect should happen because remember, uh, gravity is attractive. So if I threw sort of instead of height, if this was time, I would so sort of throw a rock, it would go down. This really is the equivalent of me throwing a rock and instead of it going down, it just accelerates upwards. We say, what? And this is actually what they detected. So they don't know much about it other than, holy crap, something is working out there that is acting opposite to gravity, and it's winning. And if we don't see it, it doesn't give off much light, so we call it dark something. And we can't call it matter because matter implies mass, and mass attracts. So we can't call it dark matter because it does opposite to matter. So instead, we call it dark energy. And that is a brand new field of physics that opened up just because of this crazy evidence. So there are entire research groups now dedicated to trying to find some answers to this. Like, how could this be? What could be causing this? So now it's like we have two dials, at least, for the universe. So it's not only the actual density of the universe, which we were talking about before, but now it also has something to do with this sort of dark cosmology constant. And so um, that's actually why we have this term dark energy. I think it's really, really interesting that you know, evidence comes out and shows that our own ideas have to be changed.